From whales to rhinos to hippos, some animals are very big. So big, in fact, that I dare say they may have their own gravitational pull. But there has to be a limit. Surely no animal is bigger than the likes of a blue whale, right? Well, wrong. The animal kingdom is far more crazy than you may think. There are some beefy boys out there who are so very large, you'll struggle to believe they're real. But trust me, they are. These are the 20 abnormally large animals that actually exist. Number 20. The Saltwater Crocodile Do you have any idea which animal is most likely to eat a human? Well, you guessed it, it's these monster-sized saltwater crocodile. At least that's what it says in their yearbook. So other than being voted most likely to eat a human, what else do we know about these, the biggest of the crocodilians? Well, these reptiles have a huge range. They can be found from India all throughout the southeast of Asia to Australia, and they really do deserve their title as the biggest of crocodiles. These guys generally measure in around 17 feet long and weigh anywhere around a thousand pounds. But it's actually not uncommon to find examples that are an astonishing 23 feet in length and a gargantuan 2,200 pounds. Yikes! The opportunistic saltwater croc lies in wait just below the surface of the water near the shore. It is a prime spot for catching a bit of lunch as many animals will come to the water for refreshment. And as they pause by the edge, the crocodile takes its chance and in one swift sudden movement it grabs a hold of its prey and pulls it underwater until it drowns. The crocodile's not a picky eater. It's going to take anything that passes by. From a monkey to a wild boar, a water buffalo to a shark, there's not many creatures that can escape once a crocodile has them in its vice-like bite. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Elephant Seals There are two types of elephant seal, northern and southern, and they do vary a fair bit. The northern elephant seal mostly resides on offshore islands around California and Baja California, whereas the southern elephant seal generally lives in the sub-Antarctic waters near Antarctic pack ice. <laughs> These are the tougher of the two species. Preferring that much chiller environment, they're also considerably longer lived than their northern cousins. Southern elephant seals may live between 20 and 22 years, but the northern sort have an average lifespan of nine years. It is actually the southern kind that we're looking at today. They're the biggest of all seals on the planet, and the male can grow to be over 20 feet in length and weigh a ridiculous 8,800 pounds. That's quite an impressive bulk. They're known as elephant seals, as you may have guessed by now, because of their vaguely trunk-like snouts. Elephant seals will mass together in huge numbers during mating season. This is when the males can be seen doing their thing to impress the ladies. For elephant seals during the mating season, it's all about being the biggest and fattest, sexiest seal on the beach. And these massive males will fight each other to decide who gets to do all of that mating and special cuddling, and it can get pretty violent. Back in the 19th century, the elephant seal was hunted almost to extinction, and their population shrinking to less than 100 during the worst of times. It was only through the utterly enormous libido of these huge mammals that their numbers have since swelled to around 100,000. These guys are really, really horny, and they will tear the shreds out of each other to be the one who gets some. Number 18. The Giant Freshwater Stingray is this the largest freshwater fish in the world? I know you can't believe any old big fish story you hear, but hang on a moment. This one is a big one, and it's also known as the whip ray. The giant stingray is the stuff of legends, rarely seen but with local tales, telling of gigantic 1,000-pound fish. This species is the prize for anglers who are looking for something epic. In 2009, it would be announced that the largest catch of this incredible creature had been documented on an expedition by National Geographic in the waters off of Thailand. The colossal catch measured 2 meters wide and a mighty 6.9 feet or 2.1 meters long. The poor creature, though, had lost its tail. I wonder if they named it Eeyore. 
And if it had still been attached, it's likely that this ray would have measured up to 5 meters long. Unfortunately, it seems that although they did get the giant stingray's measurements, they didn't weigh it, so we can only have a guess at what it likely weighed, and people think that it was at least 450 kilos, being the heaviest of its species previously known to humankind. While scientists are still searching and discovering more about this huge fish, we can only imagine just how many giant stingrays actually exist, and perhaps even bigger versions are yet to be found. Maybe these are just the babies. Number 17. The Capybara The Capybara is the biggest rodent on the planet. That may sound like a total nightmare to any of you with mice and rat phobias, but the Capybara is kind of like a huge and oversized guinea pig, more than anything else. These animals are generally found in the northern and central parts of South American continent, but like many other creatures, there are some that are now hanging out in the swamps of Florida. That particular state seems to have historically had some of the dumbest and most lax laws about keeping various exotic animals as pets, and funnily enough, as a result, they have a whole host of invasive species causing a hoo-ha in the wild. Capybaras can weigh anywhere from 65 to 150 pounds, and they may measure up to 4 feet from nose to tail, standing at about 2.5 feet to the shoulder, and perhaps one of the weirdest and grossest things about these things is their diet. They eat a whole ton of different plants and grasses, and need to gnaw all the live long day in order to keep their teeth under control, as like other rodents, the capybara's teeth never stop growing. It sounds like a fairly regular vegetarian diet, I would think. These guys have a morning habit that may make you feel a bit icky. They eat their own poo, but only in the morning. Apparently, this is when it contains the most protein. Mmm, delicious. It's also on account of their diet of grass being pretty hard to digest, so eating their poop gives them the delicious opportunity to digest their dinner twice. Number 16. The Galapagos Tortoise if you think that these tortoises are named after the islands, well, think again. These big guys are called Galapagos tortoises on the account of their huge shell. The word is Spanish for saddleback. So the tortoises are what named the islands. Or maybe that was all the colonialism. Who could actually say? Anyways, these incredible big animals can weigh up to 700 pounds, even though they only eat a vegetarian diet of grasses, fruits, and plants. And perhaps the thing that most people know about the tortoises is that they can live really long lives. That's certainly true of the Galapagos tortoise. They live up to 150 years. This is made possible by the fact that they have no natural predators when they're grown beyond about a year, and they can go for long periods without any food and water. In fact, the main risk to these amazing animals is human behavior. They used to be hunted for their meat and shells, and in the present day, the destruction of their habitats and over-tourism has contributed to a decline in their numbers. But these gentle giants have to be one of the most amazing examples of a massive animal. And ah, they're just so adorable as well, aren't they? Number 15. The Shoebill the shoebill is apparently a long-legged wading bird, but this one is really, really big. They're also known as whale bills or whale-headed storks, and that gives a fairly strong indication of just how big that bill actually is. These big old birds can be found in tropical East Africa, where they live in the swamps of countries from Zambia to South Sudan. The shoebill can be as tall as 55 inches and have a wingspan of up to 8 feet and 6 inches, as well as having a really big bill. These funny-looking birds are also known for their massive feet. Their middle toes alone can be almost 7 and a half inches long. Number 14. The Lion's Mane Jellyfish with some of these awesome creatures growing to 2.5 meters across and tentacles stretching an epic 30 meters, as long as a blue whale, the lion's mane jellyfish is definitely one of the world's biggest sea monsters. The lion's mane jellyfish, named aptly because of their shaggy sort of appearance, like a lion's mane I would suppose, live mainly in North Pacific and Arctic waters where they hunt for small fish and crustaceans. Spookily enough, these sea creatures actually are bioluminescent which means that they make their own light and actually glow in the dark. Although you probably wouldn't be too happy to see one coming at you, and they really have a nasty sting that they use to stun their prey before they consume it. The jellyfish's mouth 
is positioned underneath the bell shape of its body, so it is a dangerously efficient hunter, basically shaped like a massive trap, grabbing and stinging with its long tentacles and gobbling its prey. Their sting, although pretty nasty, is not known to be deadly to humans. It is pretty painful though, so I wouldn't pet one of these guys if I were you. Number 13. The Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons are very big indeed. In fact, they can weigh more than 300 pounds. But when you consider that these guys can eat 80% of their own weight in just one meal, well, that kind of explains how they manage to get to such an impressive size. Oh, and these big monitor lizards are psychos. Seriously, they have some of the most ruthless and downright terrifying murder skills in the animal kingdom. Even though they might look quite cute and entertaining at times, the Komodo dragon actually has a nasty venomous bite, which means that even if their prey manages to escape their powerful jaws, then they're still in deep, deep trouble. That venom works slowly, causing gradual paralysis for the unfortunate recipient, until they're eventually rendered completely helpless. That's when the dragon will begin its feast, as if the idea of being slowly eaten alive by a savage lizard isn't enough to give you nightmares. Then you should know that these guys do in fact sometimes partake in the odd human, and they're not exactly fussy if that human happens to be alive or dead. These grave-robbing reptiles are known for digging up corpses and eating them. For the Komodo dragon, the more stinking and rotten the flesh, the better. Number 12. The Giant Bullfrog the giant bullfrog is often also known as the African bullfrog. It's a massive species of frog. Duh. It's found in many countries across the African continent. These frogs are so big that they eat everything from insects and other amphibians through to birds and rodents. And they're also apparently cannibals and will eat their own tadpoles. Ugh. One African bullfrog at the Pretoria Zoo in South Africa was witnessed eating 17 young wrinkles snakes in one meal. That one must have been quite the fatty. These frogs may be native to Africa, but due to the international exotic pet trade, the chunky amphibians are kept as pets in many different countries around the world. They're usually bred in captivity, and in fact, those that do live have lived their whole lives in this way and may actually live for as long as 35 years. How one of these things ends up in a pond in Batesville, Texas, well, that's a bit of a head scratcher. But here we are with a guy who says that he pulled this 13-pound monster bullfrog out of a fishing pond on a South Texas ranch. Now, there is a possibility that the size of this particular bullfrog may seem bigger than it actually was. The way that he's holding it towards the camera does add an element of optical illusion. Even so, this is definitely bigger than any frog I've ever seen in my garden pond. But how about you? Let's discuss this photo and how accurate that it might be in the comments section down below. Number 11. The Giant Gippsland Earthworm Next up we have these wriggly creatures that are rarely seen but are large enough that they can be heard as they crawl beneath the surface. Ew, that's a big old worm. The giant Gippsland earthworm is a sizable invertebrate that can only be found in a very small area of Australia, namely the creeks of South and West Gippsland. This is the soft and wet earth that this creature prefers, and it can be heard squelching its way through the dark clay burrows. It tunnels beneath your feet. These unusually big earthworms can measure more than three feet long, but despite the size, the life and the habits of this creature are pretty much unknown. The giant earthworm's entire life cycle occurs underground, so as you can imagine, that makes it kind of tricky to observe for all of us surface dwellers. Estimates about the lifespan of this worm range between 10 and 20 years. The giant Gippsland earthworm mates once a year during the spring and early summer, and the single egg capsule is laid in the burrow, with the eggs taking over 12 months to hatch. So, in many ways, it is not that surprising that this invertebrate is in danger. With the eternal problem of shrinking habitats, and these guys don't exactly start out with much habitat to lose, well, with the global warming, the risk of droughts is increasing. As you know, worms cannot survive a drying out. These weird creatures are at risk of disappearing from the earth altogether. So, should you be wandering in that very specific corner of Victoria, Australia, be sure not to touch these worms. They're really fragile, and they can't even heal a tiny wound. Number 10. The Chia Nina When cattle are considered to be the biggest of their kind, you know it's never going to end well for that cattle in question. A big cow is just more steaks or burgers or pastrami, 
so it's not really a good idea to become the tallest and heaviest breed of cattle, not if you want to make it into adulthood, that is. But the title of largest cattle breed in the world has to go somewhere, and the unfortunate winner of that death sentence is the Chianina. These huge cows have been bred in the Italian regions of Lazio, Umbria, and Tuscany for at least the last two millennia. In fact, they used to be bred for as working animals. Their powerful frames were ideal for pulling plows and carts and everything all over the awkward mountainous terrain of central Italy, but the industrialization of farming meant that the use of these cattle in the fields was for the chop. It sucks for them, because it also meant that their gigantic meaty bodies were being eyed up and down as the ideal Bistecca al Florentina. That's uh, Florentine steak to all of you meat noobs. Now, as these mighty bovines can reach weights of 3,500 pounds or more and heights of 6 feet 7 inches, that does make for a whole lot of steak. Number 9. The Giant Squid These epic sea monsters are very cool. They're the stuff of legend. Age-old tales of fishing boats being wrestled by these beasts. And when you see the size of some of these giant squid, you're going to understand why. The biggest ever recorded giant squid measured a colossal 59 feet long and weighed a ton that would make some monstrous calamari rings. They may actually get bigger than that though. These huge invertebrates are notoriously difficult to study and much of their behavior and knowledge about them is generally not known. The closest that scientists usually get is if a dead giant squid washes up on a beach somewhere, or they're accidentally caught by surprised fishermen. They live in the very deep oceans, and it's believed that they mainly eat fish, other squid, and quite possibly even small whales. These creatures are equipped with eight arms and have two additional tentacles that they use for feeding, literally like hands popping food into their beaks. The giant squid also sports a set of gigantic peepers. Their eyeballs alone are the biggest of all the creatures on Earth, measuring a whopping 10 inches across. This means that down in the sea, where it's really dark, they can likely see their prey before their prey sees them. Another awesome adaptation. Number 8. The Silverback Gorilla The Silverback Gorilla is actually the male adult of the mountain gorilla species. They're called silverbacks because of the impressive silver hair that they display on their, well, backs. Duh! This is basically the sign that the gorilla is an elder. These massive apes stand at around 5 feet tall and can weigh around 430 pounds, but what's most impressive about them is just how strong and powerful that they can be. The silverback can lift a staggering 1,763 pounds of dead weight, and they usually use that skill to knock down trees, but they're not averse to using the strength for other purposes as well. Gorillas are amongst the closest relatives to humans in all of the animal kingdom. As great apes, we share a lot of juice with these extraordinary animals, and we all know just how dangerous that human beings can be, so if gorillas share any of the psychotic stuff that people seem to have, then these big guys could well turn out to be very dangerous. But actually, it seems that the gorillas are actually gentle giants. Most of the time, anyways. And it's only people who are the jerks. I think we already knew that, though, didn't we? Gorillas are only dangerous when they feel threatened, or when a couple of silverbacks are fighting each other. Then, if you're anywhere in the vicinity, it's time to make yourself scarce. When a gorilla feels threatened, they are likely to let you know it. They will send warning signs by stamping their feet, beating on their chests, and making a whole ton of noise. This is to warn off any potential threat, and sometimes that's simply enough to get the message across. If not, well, that's where the trouble begins. Gorillas do fight dirty. They're going to bite and scratch and drag the victim around, and it becomes a mess, kind of like a bar brawl. Except you're almost definitely going to wind up dead. Number 7. Andean Condors Amongst the largest of birds in the world that are actually able to fly, the Andean condor is incredibly impressive. Although they can fly, they're also rather heavy, and this proves to be a bit of a problem when it comes to staying aloft. Yes, these big birds can be as heavy as 33 pounds, and their colossal wings can span as much as 10 feet, so they require a little extra boost to get off the ground. This is why Andean condors live in more windy places, so that they can use the air currents to help them glide without having to use as much effort. They live in the mountains, obviously. Their name comes from the Andes, you know. But the birds can also be found near the coast, where they can use the ocean breeze to the same powerful effect. 
The Andean condor is mostly black all over, but the male birds do have a kind of white collar and some markings on their wings as well, and they can also be recognized by their bald heads. Number 6. The Green Anaconda Amongst all the snakes in the whole wide world, the green anaconda is by far the fattest. The mammoth creature may not grow quite as long as a reticulated python, but they are extremely girthy, and this makes them really, really heavy sometimes even twice as much as a python. Green anacondas are part of the boa family. These reptiles can grow to be more than 29 feet long and have a diameter of 12 inches, and they can weigh as much as 550 pounds. To get this big, these serpents need to eat big prey, and amongst their favorite meals that they enjoy eating are deer, wild pigs, caimans, and the occasional jaguar. Anacondas are constrictors, they're not venomous, they coil themselves around their prey and squeeze until that creature asphyxiates, and then they swallow the prey whole. Like many snakes, it's actually the females that are larger. I'd quite like to show you the teeth, and to do that... And they perfectly camouflage themselves to blend in with their jungle habitat. They have olive green coloring, dark oval spots that appear all along their spines, and yellow spots all down their sides. This makes it easy for them to skulk about in the vegetation of the rainforest, where they can leap out and then ambush their unsuspecting prey. Number 5. The Moose The massive Alaskan moose is the largest of all moose kind, and there are estimated to be between 175,000 to 200,000 of these monster moose just mooching about all around Alaska. These big animals can measure a whopping 7 feet from hoof to shoulder, so that doesn't even include their huge head and antlers. A large male moose can weigh as much as 1,600 pounds, which is an astonishing size. In fact, the only land mammal in North America that is larger would be the bison. The male moose grows a mighty pair of new antlers every single spring and sheds the old ones in the winter. They obviously need to keep up with the latest fash horns, you know. Alaskan moose are not only big, but they're also dangerous. Despite the fact that these animals are strictly herbivores and spend their days chomping on plants, they can also be super aggressive if they feel in any way threatened. The female moose is not going to hesitate to hoof you to kingdom come if she feels that you may be a threat to her baby. So you should never mess with the moose because it might end up being your last moose steak. Number 4. African Savannah Elephant Although for the longest time it was believed that there was just one species of African elephant, there are in fact two, the African forest elephant and the African savanna elephant. These two species are indeed closely related. The African savanna elephant is the largest land animal in the world, and they're apparently twice the size of their closest relatives. They also have thicker tusks that have larger curves at the end, and their ears are considered to be more triangular in shape. These differences may be hard to tell, unless they're compared next to each other, and then you'd have to ask them very politely if they wouldn't mind you messing about with their ears. Growing to be up to 13 feet tall and weighing a colossal 2.5 to 7 tons, elephants are the strongest of all land animals. Not much can survive their tree-felling strength, even a lion can be overcome by a stampeding elephant. It seems as though the elephant's best defense is using its brain power, though. Working together to protect the entire herd, elephants' experience can literally save their lives. Despite the African elephant's incredible significance and enormous popularity, these animals do still remain at risk of extinction. They're classified as critically endangered, meaning that if things continue the way they are, there will be no more wild elephants for future generations to see. And not only that, these extraordinary animals are keystone species, which basically means that their habits and behavior are essential to the ecosystem. From helping to spread seeds so that plants will grow, to digging to create watering holes, the African elephant is really doing some vital work. Number 3. The Japanese Spider Crab the largest crabs in the world, the Japanese spider crabs, have 10 legs, so they can span as much as 12 and a half feet and weigh almost 20 kilos. They're big enough to consume a human child. Masters of camouflage, these Japanese spider crabs live at a depth of 150 to 200 meters, where they use the stuff all around them to cover their shells and blend into the environment, becoming almost invisible to their predators. That may account for how they can live for up to 100 years, with some of them surviving even longer than that. However, these oversized crustaceans are more likely to be hunted by octopus or stingray than to be much of a threat themselves. 
They are scavengers, generally finding their food in the leftovers and decaying debris of animals and plants that are on the bottom of the ocean floor. There are plenty of legends around these creatures, though, and as much as they may not kill a human to feed, they do have no problem gorging on any dead bodies that might find their way to the ocean's depths. The Japanese spider crab is really only minding its own business, just being a big old crab and cleaning up a lot of gross and dead stuff. Number 2. The White Rhinoceros the white rhinoceros is the largest species of rhino. They're also the second largest land mammal in the world. And although they're known as the white rhino, the name actually comes from the Afrikaans word of white, which although it may sound like the color, actually means wide and refers to the animal's extra wide mouth. Since March of 2018, there were only two northern white rhinos left in the world. They were in a reserve in Kenya and were both females. The last male died in that same year in this sanctuary in central Kenya. Southern white rhinos are doing slightly better, but they only exist in South Africa, Namibia, Kenya, and Zimbabwe. These animals are still threatened, and they do need protection from poachers who have hunted their northern counterparts to the brink of extinction. The white rhinos that do exist can be as large as 12 to 13 feet long for the males and 11.2 to 12 feet for females. The males can weigh as much as 7,940 pounds and the females up to almost 4,000 pounds. That is a very chubby unicorn indeed. Number 1. The Flemish Giant Rabbit These are some really big buns. The largest breed of all the domesticated sorts, the Flemish Giant Rabbit is an absolute whopper. These huge bunnies come originally from Flanders and Belgium, where they were raised for their meat and fur from the 16th century onwards. These rabbits are the descendants of many different breeds of rabbit from all over the world. They were selectively bred for generations to produce a docile and extra-large bunny. These days, the Flemish giant rabbit is often kept as a pet, and they're especially popular because they're very clean animals and can also be trained to use a litter box like a cat. They really are very big indeed, although they do weigh on average about 15 pounds. One of the biggest ones to have weighed in was 22 pounds, and they can measure over 4 feet long. In fact, the biggest rabbits in the whole world are two Flemish giant rabbits, Dexter and his father Darius. Those are some classic bunny names. <laughs> right up there with Cottontail and Flopsy. Although Dexter is a massive four feet long chunky bunny rabbit, his father Darius is officially the biggest and heaviest of all the bunnies. He is four feet three inches long, weighing in at 49 pounds. This record-busting bun comes from a fat rabbit dynasty. His grandfather was a previous record holder, and then his mother took over before Big D busted the record books wide open. He was once a celebrity traveling all around the world with a bodyguard and a $1.6 million life insurance policy, all on the account of his great girth. Darius retired from public duties, but then the plot thickens. In April of 2021, Darius, the world's fattest rabbit, would be kidnapped. Despite the sizable reward being offered for news about his whereabouts, he is still missing, and pet detectives are on the case. That's all from today's foray into the world of extra big animals. Which of these supersized creatures amazed you the most, and are there any others that should be on the list? As always, you can let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.